My name is William Justice and this is about learning filmmaking. Today, I'm going to show you how to put a hole in your hand using DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. Okay, let's get into DaVinci Resolve. Um, you can see I have the clip loaded in the timeline. Let's take a look at what it, uh, how I set this up. Basically, I kind of stood still or sat still and moved my hand in front of my face, just like that. So what we'll do is we'll click on the clip and turn it into a fusion clip by saying new fusion clip. And let's get into fusion. Okay, we have the clip in fusion. We have the media in and media out. First step is to create a uh, planar tracker so that we can track the movement of my hand. We'll click control space, add the planar tracker, and move that over. So you just need to draw a rough tracking area around the back of your hand. Set it to hybrid point area and translation rotation, and then just got to track it. So it follows the movement of my hand. Looks good. We're going to add the, well, the whole clip, which is just uh, created in Photoshop. It has a little uh, hole in the back of it. Um, so I just got some meat and cut the middle out of it and added a little uh, little uh, glow shadow around it. Okay, so we this is our two. Okay, that's our uh, meat clip, our meat image. I'm going to go back to the tracker. And the first thing we want to do here is create a planar transform because we're going to use this in, sec in a second for the mask to do the cutout of my hand. We're going to drop this into the planar tracker and set it to do the corner pin. And just take these and move these kind of roughly to the back of the hand area. Like that. And then let's play it through and see if it's tracking good. All right, looks great. Okay, now we're going to use the planar transform to cut the hole out of my hand. We're going to do that by first adding a background node, and we'll put the background into the planar transform. And then we are going to use a uh, shape here, the polygon, and we're going to cut out of the back. Use the polygon to mask out the background where we want the hole to be. So let's click on media out. Click on the polygon, we're going to zoom in, and we're going to draw this polygon right inside of where the whole image is. Close it up, then we're going to take the polygon and put it into the mask property of the background. And the next thing we need to do is just merge in the background with the polygon and the planar transform. So put the merge node right there, and put the transform into that. And you can see we have the background right there. And the background is going to track where our hand is. And to get it to cut a hole, it's all we simply need to do is go into the merge node and set the operator to XOR. And there we go. We have a hole in our hand. The last thing I'm going to do is just I want to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to take the uh, brightness contrast where the image is coming in and just drop it down, gain down a little bit and make it a little bit darker. All right, let's go back over to the main timeline and see what we have. So we have our image here, um, but the background is black. So what we just, well, all we need to do is take the original clip with the, uh, the background in it and let that play through and all of a sudden we can start seeing the hand or seeing the hole through the hand. Like that. Now there are some tricks here. Sometimes um, you need to make sure that your head is in the same place in the foreground and background clips. Otherwise, the eye won't line up right there. Um, but you play around with it a little bit. It's not that difficult. Let's take one more look. Got a hole in my hand and I'm looking right through it. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to have another video coming up soon um, with some uh, video challenges. We're going to give that a try and see how it works. 
Thank you and have a great day.